<laughs> What's the remote? I don't think it was his. I don't think it was material. I think it was also the shit that happened with old girls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was like, like, dude, what you not understand? Turn this shit is. off. Yeah, on stage. Let's find out. I'm trying to get this nigga on. He can explain to me what the fuck happened. Let me see. Can you put a request in, T.I.? Please come on in, man. The fans want to know. Come talk to us, Tip. Expeditiously. Come and talk to us expeditiously. Yo, yo, my nigga, what happened tonight? What was going on? I heard something happened expeditiously. Man, listen, bro, I had the greatest time. I had the best set of my, I had the best set of my comic career. <laughs> I enjoyed myself, bro. I love that shit. I want to know how it started and how it ended. Man, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't want to get. I don't want to get into all that. What I will say, what I will say, <laughs> is that a motherfucker went into some shit thinking it was gonna go a certain way, had to make adjustments, <laughs> and then turn that shit around, got the fuck out of there. <laughs> I love that shit. I love that shit, bro. I love that shit. I'm here for that. You here for all that smoke, the New York smoke. I'm here for that. <laughs> you know, New York. Well, my only question to you, my only question to you, if you get booed and have a standing ovation, yes. do they cancel each other out? Well, we have, somebody have to show the standing ovation. The only thing online right now. I mean, hey, bro, everybody, it was a sold out crowd. Therefore, we'll have an opportunity, to, you know, I'm sure to come out eventually. You know, bad news sell way faster than the good news. So I'm sure. I'm, but I enjoyed myself. I want some more. I want some more. Did you enjoy that feeling of being booed? It felt good. Huh? It felt good. Yes, I loved it. I didn't feel like they were booing me. I felt like they were booing me as like, nigga, I dare you to be more funny. Nigga, I dare you to be more funny. I dare you. To, I dare you to overcome this. I dare you to do better. And I feel like that what they challenged me to do, and I did it. I loved it. So what's what joke? Another joke that. Uh, yeah, give me a chance. Are you going to do it? I can't hear you. What you say? What joke started the booze? What joke was? Okay, it? I tell you what it was. So a part of my set, right? A part of my set. A part of my set was. If anybody hear a word, they don't understand. Raise your hand, and I give you the definition expeditiously, right? And usually, the first hand that raises, and I'm talking about from LA to Atlanta to like all the other places I've performed. Usually, when the hand raises and I offer them the definition. There's a laugh and a cheer. This particular time in, in the Barclays, the word was anonymity. The word was anonymity. 
So the conversation was, fame sucks. Enjoy your anonymity as long as you can. Anonymity. Someone raised their hand. I said, ma'am, what's your name? Thank you. Thank you so much for raising your hand because everybody else wanted to know the definition and they ain't raised their hand. Anonymity is the act of remaining anonymous. As soon as I gave the definition, boom. <laughs> hey, but look, though, I'm going to tell you about the part that you did not see. Yeah, I can't wait. The part you did not see as I continue through the booze, which is a part of, because you, K-Dub, Chris Spencer, Donnell Rollins, Dave Chappelle, everybody said, oh, boy, you going to get booed. And I'm like, nah, I ain't going to get booed. You're crazy. <laughs> I ain't finna get booed. I'm not finna get booed. You crazy. And they're like, boy, you going to get booed. Prepare for it. <laughs> and I'm like, I ain't finna do it. And in my, in my head, right, I created me a little contingency. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, as I'm going through the shit, right, I'm working through the booze. I said, I know what I'm finna do. I had them play a song. The song just happened to be Swagger Like Us. Mother came on. When the mother came on, everybody got there, got the whole energy changed. Whole energy changed. And then right when it was my turn to rap, I cut the song off say, I wish I would for you ungrateful motherfuckers. Ain't no fucking way. Everybody stood on their foot, stood on their feet, start clapping. Fuck, I didn't see a video of that. I was all, I didn't I need to see that. I mean, either way, bro. Hate I love the shit. Bro. Hate I us love on the bad part. They even saw that good part. I don't care what they show, bro. I don't give a fuck because I ain't seeking nobody's validation. I'm not here for nobody else's approval. I don't give a damn. That between me and the crowd. Once I left the arena, or the crowd left the arena, everybody else, y'all motherfuckers is just, you know, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about that. Okay. Give a damn. Tomorrow night, we're on a no-cap tour. You coming down to perform. Is there anything you're trying to do different? Anything to, you know? Tons of shit I'm going to do different. What are you going to do different? I'm sorry. What you say? I said there's tons of shit I'm going to do. OK. Different. Tons. You know, have you, you going to say that same joke? That you did, or you not? you going to let that joke go away? I think I may. I think I may. Yeah, um, I don't what? remember. I, not, to be honest with you. It depends. I think it's going to be something that it's a case by case basis. I'm going to read the crowd a little bit better. There we go. I might go southpaw on them motherfucking ass. <laughs> all right. Hey, bro. But the main thing about it all, bro. Yes, sir. I appreciate the opportunity to grow, I appreciate the opportunity to learn. I appreciate the opportunity to get better and evolve. I ain't really looking for nothing easy. I ain't looking for nothing easy. All right. That's the hey, that's the, that's the, that's how you gotta and the thing about New York, man, the thing about being booed is the part of the comedy game. You know that. Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, Bill Cosby, myself. We all have been booed for different reasons. I know I was I got I'm under I got booed one time in my career. I didn't get booed because I wasn't funny. Only one? Once. Okay. Once I got booed. And I, I, I didn't get booed because I wasn't funny. I got booed because I was too vulgar. And I think it was, it, was a, it, was, it was a short of college. And I think some... How big was the crowd? It was a pretty nice crowd. I, I forgot the name of the school it was. It was every... You know what I'm saying? How, like, how big? Like, probably 1,500. Man, was, dang, dang, nah, they were talking 15,000. You got boo, yeah, you got boo by like 10,000 tonight. That's big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's at 15,000. However, uh -huh. everybody went booing. The boos came from the right side. I seen them. They came from the right side. <laughs> but it came from the right side. Yeah. Now, because I was looking at the middle. 
I was looking at the middle. They came from the right side. It was one white boy in the middle, and I told him, hey, not going to accept that from you. You just got here. I'm not going to accept that from you. It's Brooklyn. You just got here. <laughs> well, you know, in Brooklyn, that device, um, what's it where I'm looking for? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> you should have helped me with the word, nigga. What's it called? Gentrified. Gentrified? Yeah, gentrified. Yeah. Uh, it was, Brooklyn it was got, a colonizer. It was a colonizer trying to... There was a colonizer in the front trying to, you know, enter into the booze of the right side. I say, bro, I ain't finna have that for you. I take it from my brothers and sisters. I ain't going for you. No, nah, no, nah, not you. Did you walk down the stage and Will, Will Smith his ass or you let him live? You say what? Did you go Will Smith that nigga or you let him live? Nah, bro, man, come on. It's all in fun. It's all in fun, bro. I ain't, I'm not upset. I enjoyed myself thoroughly. That what you don't understand. I'm ready for more. More booze or more shows? I'm ready. As long as I ain't got to wear what you got on, man. As long as I ain't got to put that on. As long as I ain't got to put that on. I'm ready. Fuck you, motherfucker. If you want to copy my head, I'm like, fuck you. Hey, look, man, your set was, hey, look, your set was fat, though. You had a fat set. You had a dope set. You had a real dope set. Hey, hey, nigga, trust me. This is all going to be behind you in another three years from now. I'm going to be like, damn, I remember when I got booed in New York. It's all part of the game. I've been waiting on this moment because most motherfuckers told me it was going to happen, and I never thought it was able to happen. I never thought. I never. I did. You know, happened and this, this has, this has, when my back against the wall, I perform much better. You know what that was gonna happen at all, or was it gonna happen like this quick? I ain't think it was gonna happen. I ain't see it happening at all. I ain't see it happening at all. Confident, motherfucker. Oh, okay. You was there, yeah. Remember? Huh? Which one is that? What? You think you saw boo coming at all? Is that from confidence, or you just a cocky motherfucker? Because the last I was getting. Okay. Because the laughs I was getting, the laughs I was getting was making me feel like, hey, yo, bro, the kind of laughs you getting, they ain't, they ain't coming. Okay, you came to New York and New York said something else, right? New York, nigga. But hey, get what, though? Get what? what? I welcome it because it's all a part of the journey, correct? Yes, sir. This is what, this is what comes with being a respected comic in the business, correct? 100%. Everybody so, got Get what? I'm that much closer to being a GOAT yeah, because we, I got that behind me. That's the attitude. Well, I mean, it, it could also come in, it, it could happen more than once, so prepare, man. <laughs> and to be honest with you, please take attention away from the suit. <laughs> like, don't keep shining the camera on the suit. Um, you know that you know what a suit is? It's like a, a gender review outfit. It's a boy. <laughs> but nah, man, I love hey look man, I enjoyed myself, bro. I enjoyed myself. And I can't wait for some more. Nigga, I'm looking forward to it. I'll see your ass tomorrow in the eight, nigga. I can't wait. I can't wait for some more. And and change everything around. Cause you know what? You know you have to do your, your best set? After a okay set or bad set, after a bad set, you always have a. I'm looking forward to your next well, set. I mean, I'm gonna take your word for it. It's my first time around, it motherfucker. I'm gonna take your word for it. Uh, I can't well, wait. Welcome, though. I mean, welcome to being a comedian. Ah, what's up? Assalamualaikum. Salam my two a lot. Hey, listen, man. Yes, sir. I'm here for it, bro. I'm here for it. This shit don't scare me off. This shit make me. This shit make me more tenacious. My nigga, well, I'll see you in the air tomorrow, motherfucker. Uh, I'm gonna tell them niggas to put. I me. love. You don't, you don't need that. All right, bro. All right, babe, boy. I'll see you tomorrow. Appreciate in a minute. It. Yes, sir.